sponsored by Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Governor Andrew Cuomo recently signed legislation requiring tackle football programs for children to provide parents with information on concussions and subconcussive blows. Here to help us understand what our rights are is managing partner Paul Harding from the law firm of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Paul, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So, new legislation just signed recently. What's it all about and when does it take effect? So in, in response to a report that came out uh, several months ago that 5% of youths playing football will suffer a head injury, a closed head injury, really a concussion injury. So what it is is this, is that any program has, a, it's gonna take 90 days before it comes into effect, mm -hmm. but they're gonna have to hand out an informational packet before the season, hey, these are the risks, this is the thing could happen to your child, so you have to make an informed decision. Now, is this taking place, or does this only apply to school football programs? No, it's far beyond that. The schools for sure, Pop Warner for sure, these club teams for sure. Uh, probably anything beyond your Thanksgiving family get-together football game that's run by an adult should just do this to be safe. It, it's well, it's all encompassing. Essentially, any adult involved with a youth youth football program. Yes. Yeah. So you mentioned this packet. What type of information should parents be on the lookout for in in this packet that so you mentioned? So the Department of Health has it on their website, and you can go down and download that and take a look. But see, a lot of us don't know. A lot of people don't know what to even look for in a head injury. Mm -hmm. So there is going to say the way that it could happen. You know, is there impact? Is your child acting a certain way, sleeping a little too much, a bit irritable? You know, to recognize it and then treatment. And then, of course, if that is found to have had a closed head injury, what do you do next? When do you allow him or her back on that football field? All right, Paul. So parents at home, if you're just joining us this afternoon, this packet of information you definitely want to be on the lookout for if your child plays youth football. Paul, thank you. You're welcome.